All right, another day of some more thieving to do. Um, let's go check out. We have a photo. Was it from the event today? Photo time. This is when we were at the food stand. Oh, and a picture of Haru included. That's a lot of food for Futaba. <laughs> she good? Man, even the yakisoba looks high class when Haru's eating it. Please, you're exaggerating. I think this is from the first time. I think this is my first time having yakisoba from a food stand, though. It's more delicious than I imagined. It was. It wasn't even instant stuff, but still good. Yeah, I don't know why, but food from a stall is weirdly tasty. Speaking of, where are the pictures of us on? Hmm? You got pics of us too, right? How about the one we took of Rogue's Yakisoba with the big red mountain of ginger? Oh! No, that one went straight into the trash. I had dry seaweed all over my teeth. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate for me. Wait, this is Ri Akechi-kun? I didn't know our things were labeled like that. But anyways, so we're in the middle of the event for the school festival. Um, and tomorrow we'll have Akechi have his little panel going on. And I'm nervous of what this man has to say. Okay, I kind of... I wanted to look at the shady commodities, but I actually don't know if that's going to end our, end our night. Like, I don't know if we'll spend have to spend time doing that stuff. But it does look like we're stuck here tonight anyways. Yo. How's school? You studying diligently? I have a uh, full knowledge, actually, so I don't need to study. And out of cur curry ingredients. Actually, that might have been a lie. I don't know if we actually have full... <laughs> I don't know if we actually have the full knowledge. Alright, the Prime Minister has still been unable to form an effective plan to counter the Phantom Thieves. Criticism against him is not only coming from the opposition, but from the ruling party as well. If the ruling party does split, then a snap election may be a real possibility. Hey. I don't know much about politics, but it sounds like there's a lot going on in the government. Hmm, alright. So I think what we can do, we need kindness up. Let's actually go ahead and check the commodities real quick. I wish we could go out today, but I guess I kind of understand if we're not going to be able to do it because of the event. Hey, welcome to the alluring world of Tanaka's JD Commodities. This site uses text-to-speech for easy-to-understand shopping experience. You can obtain rare and unusual items through Shady Commodities. Purchases will be delivered in a few days. You can only order one package at a time. More products will be available from Shady Commodities as you purchase more items. Try investing to see what valuables are stocked in the future. Forget any silly doubts or skepticism you might have. Just sign up now. Hmm. The site is incredibly shady. So are you going to sign up? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Is it a good idea to use your real name on a site like this? I'll use Joker. Your code name, huh? That's a good idea. Welcome. This is Tanaka's Shady Commodities. Mr. Joker, you've opened the door to possibilities that normal people can only dream of. Now, you can find all the rare items you could possibly want. Hmm. A hand mirror that frightens those who seize it. Curse damage to all foes? All foes. Well, this all seems quite nice. We have three of these, though. Let's see... Let's take this one. I think Foul Breath is the one that increases ailment abilities. But let's go ahead and take it. So far, you've spent a total of 5,000 yen. Your order will arrive soon. We understand your excitement, but we ask for your patience. We hope to see you again soon. Okay, so that's not going to waste any time, which is nice. nice. And we have our kindness here. I think we Whoa. have a game that increases kindness, right? Charming, kinder, hell yeah. The train of life. Okay. Let's start with the train of life. Well, then. By the way, haven't you read its secret technique book? If I remember correctly, I think you can roll the dice more times, increasing your chance of victory. We will use the technique. Makes sense since you've learned how to. Alright, let's do this. First off is the Novice Course. I see, not only do the dice rolls move you forward, but you can also use them to buy properties. I think things are going well. You might finish in first place at this rate. Oh. Huh? There's something strange up ahead. Is that an octopus? Blorp, my name is Octavius. I'll let you go if you can satisfy me, Blorp. You'll have to three chances, Blorp. Does this guy exist just to get in our way? 
you can roll my favorite secret number or higher, I'll let you pass. Blorp? You can roll the dice up to three times if you want. Blorp? You'll never guess my secret number though. Blorp? So we need to roll his at least his secret number? But he didn't even give us a hint. I guess we should just try to get the highest number as possible. Well then here's your first roll, Blorp. The secret technique worked. The number of dice you can roll is increased to five times. So we just want a high number. Seven? Do you want to go with this number? Oh. Okay, so the highest you can get is... 12? No. Reroll. Go on to roll number two, Blorp. Mm. Nine. That's pretty high. Let's stay with it. Okay then, your number is nine, Blorp. As for the secret number, do you remember my name, Blorp? It's Octavius. Octa, the number is eight. Glorp. <laughs> Glor you bested my secret number trial. I guess I'll be retreating then, Blorp. Huh, Octavius rid the way into the sunset. Alright, let's head onward to the goal. Nice. The secret technique book helped, huh? You're always looking for the most efficient way to do things. I admire that about you. Well, it seems you learned how to keep your heart open, even in the face of brutally unfair requests. Hmm, hmm how many times can we do that? Oh my god, you tell me that didn't make us kind yeah. enough? <laughs> I'm glad I was actually reading that dialogue, though, because I feel like normally I've been skipping those for the movie and the, and the games. <gasps> it's time! Well, then, we will now begin today's panel. Our guest of honor is Goro Akechi. I feel kind of bad, considering how many people have gathered. I'm sure you all would have been happier to have a singer or a mascot appear, wouldn't you say? I mean, that's what I thought. <laughs> We'd appreciate if you could tell us about your experiences with the notorious Phantom Thieves. It'd be wonderful if you could let us hear more about your actual investigative process. I'm not used to being the one interrogated, so please go easy on me. Oh my god, he's so obnoxious. How much do you think he knows? He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? Getting right to the point, I see. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. Ain't no way. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but, well, something like that. Thank you for answering that question. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? God, Makoto is so slick. Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? Why, it's as if you're a prosecutor. <sighs> Excuse me. This is something I've personally been interested in, so I couldn't help it. But won't you tell us? What reason is there that you'd claim their innocence when you previously stated they were unjust? Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer. She's pelting him with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. That's why I believe that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. And if, this is all hypothetical, mind you. Not the music stopping. If the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. Your comment just now. Does this mean the police have already identified who they are? Oh, no. 
The police haven't gotten that far yet. Okay, but, but who has? But I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom. <laughs> He's gotta be bluffing. No, we're in the most obvious location in his line of vision. <laughs> I'm down. He's lying, right? But if it's the truth... You're not going to ask me who they are? It may have repercussions on the investigation. Are you sure you can share that with us? It's only my personal opinion. So announcing that here wouldn't pose a problem. Um... I, I think there's a problem with that, personally. However, huh? there is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. Huh? The truth? Uh -huh. What's he planning on saying? That's quite the confidence you have. If you're so certain, then very well. Makoto what? Makoto and her reckless ass. I'd like to ask you then. Who? Do you think the Phantom Thieves are Akechi san? That idiot! <laughs> no. There's no way he could have any evidence. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are. Oh. Uh, it's mine. I apologize for the interruption, but I can't turn off my phone due to my job. You're a high schooler. Would you mind if I step away for about 10 minutes or so? I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. We'll resume the panel in 10 minutes. Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? <laughs> don't troll me. I'm a catchy. I have an important Is job there a to room do. I may use? There's the PE faculty office. We're gonna get in there. I want you to come too. There's a matter I want to discuss. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? <laughs> I'm gonna piss my pants. Did you set this up? We only have ten minutes, you know. <gasps> Shut up! No! What no! 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 That's gotta be shocked. I have video footage. Oh too. my god. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world, too. It's over. Yes. <laughs> it's over. I didn't think it was this was gonna happen. Which world? We're playing dumb. Wouldn't all of you know more about it than me? I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. Hmm. How would you know that, Akechi? It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? I found out about that world about a month ago. This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. <gasps> oh, he's just letting it all out. Dude, it's the new <laughs> He's just letting us know. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction because I have the same power as you. <laughs> that's right. So you admit it then. Yeah, that's what that's right means. You in all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. <laughs> but to think it would end up like this. We didn't kill anyone. I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. For real? Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world, too. That's when I saw someone else moving about, besides all of you. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. 
This guy has a persona too. This cat. <gasps> oh my god, he can hear Morgana talk. Okay, but wait. So he saw us when we were after we got sushi. Did Morgana not talk in that moment? I guess not. I swear it just talked. Morgana, our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. Really? This is unbelievable. But it is true that you know things that I don't. Say, Morgana, were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too. But I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure. And those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> well, there's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an MO. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? And also, why would you expose us if you knew we were going to get arrested? I can't overlook <laughs> you don't such think a you did it. mistake. Which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation. A deal? I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you. Along with that video I mentioned. I love getting blackmailed. Truly. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! <laughs> Ryuji! The smartest thing he said. All game. Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. You've heard that Sai-san is the one spearheading the investigation about you Phantom Thieves, correct? The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on Sai-san. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. Sai-san can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well, she may even make up a confession. Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? Just cause they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And that's why you want our cooperation. Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. What should we do about a catchy son? Weird, proposal? weird request. Follow up. Is that the only way? I can understand how you feel. It must be hard making a decision on the spot like this. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, he's right, but ugh. <laughs> I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. We should be getting back. About that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel, correct? My business is concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. We're so dumb. We just keep getting played. He had complete control over us! Over and over again. What's up, Morgana? Hey, 
They're going. Oh. Oh? What? I'm sorry about the sudden break. An urgent task came in. So, I truly apologize about this, but I'll have to end things here today. To make up for the time that was planned for this panel, the Rakugo Research Club will instead be... I can't say anything in detail regarding the Phantom Thieves investigation, but I feel another great stride will occur again soon. I hope you all continue to pay attention to what happens. Let's have a big round of applause for today's guest, Goro Akechi. Was that really our best course of action? Girl, I don't know. <laughs> he totally used Makoto's suggestion against us. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this. So what? We'll just accept his deal? He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm down, Ryuji. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. God, when do we think it's gonna be? Similar occurrences <gasps> followed in succession earlier this spring. What the fuck is that? What am I looking at on the counter? Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Why did Futaba have something like this? Oh my god, okay, no, it, too much is unraveling, I don't like it. If a calling card was delivered, we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. Moreover... Dad, why are you snooping? She's... Oh god. is about to begin in the gymnasium. Please join us, everybody. Post-festival party? I thought this thing was over. Eh, nobody invited you to it, so let's just go home. <laughs> huh? Senpai, aren't you going to the post-festival party? I was about to head out. Since we've run into each other on our own, why not go together? People say these kinds of events should be enjoyed with others, so let's go have some fun. <laughs> it seems like it's already begun. Let's get in there, Senpai! <laughs> oh, she's so cute! And now, it's time for your favorite Shuji tradition! The Student Sharing Special! <sighs> Is this the arc where they have a band come up and play? Members of the dance club? Come on! <laughs> oh my god, that one on the left looks like Ryuji. Slay, slay, slay. <laughs> Oh, let's bust a move. Where are my moves? <laughs> I <laughs> Right? The first year? We've got a little favor to ask you. Got it. I'm 
in. Senpai, I'll be back soon. They've asked me to help them with something. Just wait here and watch what happens. I've been ditched. I keep expecting like a rhythm game to pop up. <laughs> huh? Yo, who's that? Huh? It comes up again. Like, is this a Yoshizawa's like theme? Pushing forward on the joystick. Go! Get in there, Joker! Oh. I love the party with Kasumi to cool off a bit outside. <sighs> that was so exhausting, but what a blast! I feel like I danced my heart out back there. Great as I expected. <sighs> Thank you! Wow! That dance was amazing! I know, right? I was totally blown away. <laughs> uh, it's my dad. He's telling me to come home before it gets too late. Sorry to leave you like this, but I have to get going. Want me to walk you? Thank you. I'll be alright though. The post-festival party was so much fun. Especially with you. See you soon. Man, if that's not the intro to the dance game for Persona, it should be. The gym's quieted down. Looks like the dance is over. I ought to head home. The post-festival party is about to begin. Would you like to go together? I tried to think about what happened earlier, but that has gotten me nowhere. So I could use a change of pace. How about it? Looks like I received some messages. Yo, you want to go to the post-festival party and try to calm down? I can't really decide on what Akechi was saying anyways. I'm still pretty pissed though. Well, Mishima's here with me. You should join us. I'm confused. Is this because they just threw in a royal cutscene before this one? <laughs> I thought I was leaving. Okay, I'm curious to actually go with Haru, because I feel like Ryuji and Mishimas are just going to be finding someone to go dance with. Thank you! I'll be waiting at the gymnasium. about what Akechi-kun said. I'm worried. It's so frustrating being unable to do anything. And now it's time for your favorite Shujin tradition! The student sharing special! Round of applause, everyone! Sharing? I never knew we had such an event. Going to choose? I wonder who it will be. How about that fluffy haired girl over there? I choose you. 
Huh? Oh my god, who is this MC and why did they have to pick on the girl whose dad just publicly passed away? He's the worst. Is he looking this way? Well then, come on up. He's talking to me, isn't he? <laughs> You're up. <laughs> so it really is me. Come, come! Everyone's waiting! Well, I'm going. And your name is? Wait, you're a Kumara-san? Um, yes. She's a Kumara-san. Uh, uh, I'm sure you're, um, still grieving. Yeah, dummy. Come, I am deepest <laughs> Haru's in trouble. I need to change the subject. Well... I've always loved you! What? Now this is drama! A boy caught in the throes of bittersweet youth! A stunning confession of love! Oh, oh. For real? Wow, way to go! I think it was him! Oh, wait! <laughs> so, Akumura-san? What's your relation to this guy? Th that wasn't what we were talking about! My, she's quite flustered! Is this a hot scoop? But I'm a gentleman. It hurts my heart to bully such a sweet girl. Well, did you all enjoy our blushing beauty? Thank you very much, Okumura-san. Just when it was getting interesting! We tried. We tried to change the subject. Is finally over. It turned out to be more like an interview party, huh? I still can't believe you said that. I couldn't ignore you. Huh? Right. At any rate, I'm not sure what I would have done without you. Thank you for saving me. You're a mysterious person. But you're so reliable. I think the two of us will get along quite well in the future. <laughs> As they say, who knows what may lie ahead. For now, I'm worried about what happened with Akechi-kun. But I have to say, my first post-festival party was quite fun. Though, I guess it's my last too. Here, I'd like you to have this. Sakura Amazaiku? I bought it earlier. Well, it's probably a spinny. <laughs> it looks delicious. <laughs> now then, let's go home. Halloween? Haven't a lot of people been losing their minds lately? Yeah, there's been a sudden increase. I bet it's because of that fan site. I heard the victims were on the rankings there. We should really be blaming the people who requested it. Oh, a turn. Yeah, it's not our fault. <laughs> huh? Welcome home. Futaba. You took off somewhere during the festival, huh? I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. Futaba? What are you doing here in front of the store? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Not just a catchy, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside, so your timing is perfect. Let's go. No, I'm scared. Are we going to get confronted right now? Why wouldn't he do it at home? <gasps> the mass media has been causing quite a commotion lately. 
No countermeasure for the phantom thieves, the sorry state of the police, destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. What about ignored? That would be nice. <laughs> well, this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. But, sir... I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Oh. One more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Yes. Everything is proceeding as planned. <laughs> No, too much is happening. Sojiro? <gasps> I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed that he seems like he hasn't been paying attention to the news at all. Like, he's been ignoring it. And now this? This is what he looked you into? You went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Mm. Explain. Explain. Can't tell me? Hey, if this keeps up, Futaba's... I'll explain everything. I'm talking to Futaba here, you know. I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Did they trigger a change of heart in you? <laughs> no, no. How about it? died I, there was n no exit i was trapped in in a labyrinth of my heart i knew i had to leave it but i, I couldn't do it by myself Putaba. here sit down I can at least listen to what you have to say. No, oh, he's so reasonable. <laughs> the Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. <laughs> Seriously? <sighs> Okaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too, but still. 
one did you notice? When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere, even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow! I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. So, Jiro. But to think that Wakaba's research and the phantom thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. Back in the day, I used to be a government official. Oh, here we go. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking. That one of these days, she might die a bizarre death. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your uh, school. Oh. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart. Uh -oh. <laughs> and then there's Futaba. Uh -oh. You always seem to be linked to these incidents Shit. somehow. Got anything to say? Sorry for keeping quiet. Nothing. You're sharp. You're sharp, Sojiro. You think this is a game? Uh oh. You know what people call them? Criminals. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Asked? Stole? Uh, um... Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? But he doesn't just deal with the Phantom Thieves. He's actually one of them. I mean, I thought that's what he got was getting at. You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Fuck. We're gonna be honest. I'm a Phantom Thief. Are you serious? You really are a Phantom Thief? Oh, for crying out loud. Sojiro. So, basically... I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months. And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. What the hell? I... I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, it killed? She was killed. I... remember it now. Stop this nonsense! Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way mom died wasn't normal! Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. Run away, hide, and end up here as some old guy running a cafe. To be frank, I took you in for my own good. Like it somehow make up for what I'd done. But it became so much more than that. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all oh this Oh my crap. god. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And I end up getting consoled by her. God, real pathetic, aren't I? 
That's not true. I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault. <sighs> I see. What's gonna happen next? Like, what is he gonna do? Don't worry. Even if you are the real phantom thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. Oh my god. I mean, the stress. who would believe such a story? The stress, and for what? Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the phantom thieves. Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. What do you mean? Don't you get it? If, by chance, you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Come on. Time to eat. All that yelling's gotten me hungry. Whew. If he turned us in, that would have jeopardized our operation. You mean our operation of getting turned in by Akechi? Yeah. Still, we <laughs> that would have been a real bummer. Just happened. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, Futaba did so well, though. She really fought back. Like, as much as she could against Sojiro, of all people. What? He knows everything? You gotta be fucking kidding. Wait, are you okay? Did he report you or anything? We likely wouldn't be receiving these messages if was if they were not okay. I had a feeling that boss was no ordinary man. But he didn't recommend you turn yourself in, did he? I think in that case we can consider him a new ally. I'm more curious about what he mentioned to you. You mean how our enemy might be the some people the same people who targeted Futaba's mother? Yes. She was killed by mental shutdown, the same method used by the culprit we pursue now. Wait a second though, didn't you say that Boss had to run from it all? Does that mean someone he was trying to stop f the news from getting out? Who could do that? Who do you think the culprit could be? Someone very powerful. Ain't you letting your imagination run a wild a bit? But it could make sense. Wait a sec. If you're right, then wouldn't the police be working for him too? That's not impossible. This is getting too big for me even to think about. Can we really win this? We're gonna win, no matter what. <laughs> She's so strong. <sighs> I guess the chief had an inkling after all. Sorry. That's my fault. All this happened because I kept the calling card. <sighs> It's so late already. Uh, is Sojiro awake? This is kind of awkward. You can sleep on the sofa. Hey, wait. wait, shouldn't you sleep on the sofa so that Futaba can go ahead and sleep on the bed? I'm gonna go home. Night. Hey, hey! Oh my god, okay. Please. It has to be it, right? We're being so kind. Oh. We've learned so much from Sojiro, just today. Hell yeah! Okay, right. we are angelic. Yes. That should do for a while, that should do for the game, alright? It's been fun, y'all. We've actually won the whole thing. Hey. I can see the fatigue on your face. Just go to sleep already and listen. I'm being triumphant. Okay, I think we'll go to bed because it'll probably stop us from doing anything. Oh man, that was a whirlwind. October 26th, longest day of my life, by far. <laughs> that concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. <sighs> we now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. So how much does Sojiro know about Shido? The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives and have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. Whoa. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, if I report you to the police and they arrest you, I suppose you get 30 million <laughs> get yen Get out of here. It. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Only if we get caught. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Okay, I thought we were playing. Even people you who can't do this every time. Before, will be on the lookout for the phantom thieves. And it'll happen every day. Even at school. Why did this happen? There was no choice. That may have been true, but still. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. Not him apologizing to us? I'm gonna bawl. All I can do now is give you shelter. I'm gonna sob. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, alright? Um, I should introduce you to my friend Makoto so you can tell her that. Believe in me, Shojiro. I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I feel bad about what we've done to the chief. I'm responsible too. Did you see that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the phantom thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. So do we think it'll be Akechi's idea Great. to go infiltrate Sai's palace, maybe? I can't believe how big the bounty is. We should look for the Phantom Thieves ourselves. Akechi suggested they go to the school, right? Yeah, but let's not. There's been too many mental shutdowns as it is. It'd probably be the end of us if we start sniffing around now. But 30 million yen? Man, just let me dream a little. It's like when you uh, hear about a jackpot for the lottery, and you're like, what would I do with all that money? <laughs> Except this involves murder and capturing people, you know? Yo, you see the news? I had braced myself for this possibility. Actually, having a wanted notice for us feels kind of weird. I'm not sure we're gonna get away this time. Our backs are truly against the wall now. Discussing it here won't do us any good. Let's talk more in person. And now, and the rewards 30 million yen? What is this, a comic book? <laughs> it feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Mejed. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah. The enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No. Because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap. Cheap, but worse. Nothing of the sort. There's the fake Majad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. <gasps> Not angry, Yusuke. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. All I could think about was my fiancé. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly. Haru? It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kabayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Ah! Ryuji! Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone. 
Hey, what do you think? Why did we lose? Lose? What did we do wrong? We lost sight of our goal. It's probably because we weren't acting like ourselves. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. We? I think. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Wouldn't say we. Yeah, that really is it. I was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot. I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults. To think we had begun clinging onto fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto. Damn it. I know that we've been set up and that I was a complete idiot too. But still, it's so damn frustrating. Of course I want to do something about this. Yeah, we'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against and whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? Should we end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hey, what should we do? Let's turn the tables. We have Makoto's brain. And Yusuke's cell. Yeah. <laughs> Running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. We'd be dumping everything we stand for just to save our own asses. True. We're not I doing this. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Absolutely not like this. Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. Oh, doggy. Hey, uh, it's me. This has been a ride. Um, about me yelling earlier, being framed, and the added bounty, it all felt like such bullshit. I lost it. I'm sorry. I know how you feel. Hey, you it is confusing. We're wanted criminals now. Maybe I haven't changed at all since that time we went up against Kamoshida. I wanted to be a phantom thief because I thought even someone like me could be a hero. It made me so happy to be depended on. Guess it all went straight to my head. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice, but that'd make me no different from our targets. I called them shitbags, but I must be the shittiest of shitbags. I can't even joke about it. Things will turn around. You're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Thanks. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. Oh, okay. My annoyed of Ryuji arc is, I think, coming to an end. <laughs> oh my god. Now what? I got a message from Akechi kun. He wants us to gather at LeBlanc tomorrow after school. Who does he think he is trying to boss us around like that? Tomorrow? That's sudden. This is uh, directly after the reward announcement. There must be a calculated reason for this too. We'll be alright. We'll be okay, right? I don't know. I'm sure there's a way. We decided to overcome this together, right? Regardless, I don't want anyone disturbing our pace anymore. We'll go about this calmly. Well, see you all tomorrow. We've reached a crucial moment. There's no point fretting about it now, though. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. No one in this situation has been calm. Okay. Especially Ryuji. <laughs> we can't let things end here. We need to figure out who's behind everything. Wow, so like literally so much has happened within the past hour. And like, I 
you know, obviously we knew that the panel with the catchy was coming up, but the way that spiraled into so many other events, it's literally been two days <laughs> within the game. And I don't know how everyone just isn't just simply taking a nap at this point. Um, I mean, I guess tomorrow we'll have to see what Akechi has to say with us. With us? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess with us, that makes sense. Alright, so let's, um, oh. he'll let us play games. We can't leave, of course. Oh. We're prisoners in our home. Um, proficiency, oh. charm, we need knowledge if possible. Oh! Okay, let's pick up the cult, the cult game? <laughs> yeah, let's pick up the oh, cult yeah. game. Check the manual and it says the story in this game is different from the original TV show. Something about trying to become the sixth Phoenix Ranger. I don't know that much about the TV series, but this looks like a game you can really sink your teeth into. Let's become a Phoenix Ranger. Well then. By the way, haven't you read that secret technique book? Let's use the technique. A threat of doom draws near. A new power spreads its wings. Oh. They really know how to get you pumped up. Is this a lab? That person in front of the computer looks like a scientist. You're awake already. Let's. That's a promising sign. My name is. Well, just call me Osagiri. They've been. Uh, we've been put in charge of your training. Welcome to my space laboratory. You are the strongest fighter that I've created yet. We will now commence your training. Endure it, and you will require your power equaling to that of the Phoenix Rangers. Since today is your first day, we'll use the simulator. Don't worry about passing or failing. Just show me what you can do. I see. Training, huh? Guess you can't become a hero if you don't put the effort. Let's begin the warm up. Try controlling your strength as instructed. Remember the commands that's displayed on the screen, then enter the commands accurately within the time limit. Impressive, you exhibit flawless control. Let's see how you do with the next challenge. Okay, let's go. Incredible. Your strength is far greater than I initially projected. This next challenge will be the last. Battle simulator, start! Mm. Oh, the scenery changed! Hmm, is. is this a waste disposal factory? You will be facing the aberrant from Xylem, the Inibug army planning to take over Earth. My name is Gaperturnum, a powerful aberrant born of a parasite that fed on the scrap metal. But I know you can defeat it. I have faith in you. Okay. So this training is preparing us for real combat. Alright, let's get that aberrant. Clangity clang, I'm Scraper term the scrap metal bug eating aberrant clang. There's too many people on earth clang. I'm going to squash them flat to make it more comfortable place to live clang. Mm. This guy's pretty chipper about being a threat to the planet's safety, huh? You dare stand in my way clang? I'll flatten you out clang. Now then. Here comes, get your controller ready. Oh god. Hmm? How could you cheeky little brat dodge my attack? Clang it! Oh. This is our chance! Wind punch! Oh shit. Um. Can't believe it! I lost! Glory to Xylem! Clang! <laughs> oh yeah, a big win! Hey, we're back in the laboratory! The simulation is complete. Now you know what fighting an aberrant is like. From now on, you'll be known as Grey Pigeon. <laughs> Continue your training by going on solo missions. You'll feel the Featherman only when they gain sufficient strength. You could become the sixth Featherman. You may even surpass them. No one will be able to defeat you. No one. Well, you must be tired. Here, take this nap capsule and get some rest. Brother, that was long! <laughs> hey, hey. We're finished training. What do you think? Can you become the Phoenix Ranger? Nice. The secret technique book helped, huh? You're always looking for the most efficient way to do things. I admire that about you. Okay. I'm glad- I was like worried a little bit that- because I was like, maybe knowledge is maxed out. But it's time to sleep after all that. Also, I feel like the scrap bug had a very much a Thanos feel. <gasps> taking countermeasures but their actions are too little too late the government as it stands has been left behind the times it is obsolete we don't have to go down with a sinking ship we have the power to change this let us end this chaos through my hands and yours 
He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. Wow, that was too real. <laughs> that was too real. <laughs> All right, after school, it's time. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? How about some curry? Quit effing around. Oh. Please keep this short. <laughs> There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai San's actions. I assume all of you are at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. Hair However, flip. The groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it. I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in Sai Sun. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Huh? Really? Makoto had no reaction to that? Did she already know? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change her heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? You saying the police would do such a thing? Mm-hmm. They sure it would. It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! They're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai San come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up. And an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand. Oh my god, okay, so his whole meaning behind this wasn't making sense to me until this this little tidbit this actually does make sense for his for his justice i mean i guess i can understand how you feel and changing sai san's heart will be to protect her as well how do you mean if the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation what would happen i'm certain they'll aim for her life she's the perfect target to place blame on the phantom thieves so how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai San's heart. She'll be a fine warning to others not to meddle with you any further. Oh, the way he said that. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> what do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Makoto, what's your take on all this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. 
Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Whoa. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? True. Yeah, like how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai-san's heart? I need to talk to my friends first. I can't make decisions here. It's not a bad deal. Thanks. I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan. I'm okay. I never brought it up until now. But the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is... because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping I wouldn't have to resort to it, though. Oh my god, her brain! She knew this was gonna happen. Or she was hoping this would happen. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. She's too smart. <laughs> Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? <gasps> Um, I I have objections a lot of this <laughs> personally, will be new to me, so I'd like to get myself accustomed to it too. I I'm sorry, I actually have plans today. I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just. You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? I wonder why. Beats me. I hope it's just my imagination, though. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. I can't breathe. What? Why? Why now? What is she about to tell us? A palace? In me? Not only that, Goro Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi couldn't kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a phantom thief? If this is all true, I was out of the loop the entire time I led the investigation. What a joke. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? That's not all. I don't know what else, mm -hmm. but that's not all, apparently. <laughs> if this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? Perhaps I'm overthinking things. <gasps> hey! Whoa, 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 whoa. You need to keep your focus. Don't interrupt me! What are you doing? It seems you're completely worn out. But the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? Was that the moment that someone said 
Someone ratted us out. Justice wins in the end. I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. You and me both, girl. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. So I'm slowly starting to accept the truth. I feel like my bond with her is growing deeper. Alright. No, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? <laughs> what? what happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. So does this mean that we will actually try to start this favor you need? the palace tomorrow? Already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace. So I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. <laughs> a girl shouldn't say things like that. <laughs> well, she mean, she's being honest. You tell her too. What else can you dig up? Well... Like her history with men. <laughs> You're phantom thieves! Ahem. Yeah, we steal information. Also, I may be overthinking it, but my voice... Ow! Huh? Same as always. Futaba. Let me finish Please. first! <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. Again! Uh, huh? Uh, <laughs> no. What is happening? Now, for today's train news. First off, the investigation team has announced new progress in the search for the Phantom Thieves. Secondly, the opposition party has submitted a vote of no confidence regarding the current cabinet. That, along with the legislator Shido's plan for the new party, has sparked fears of governmental disbandment. Uh, where- what's going on now? Where are we meeting today? Oh, right. We were never told where to meet up. At the courthouse. Where's that? Hint, the government office district. Kasumi Geske. Kaseki. Indeed. Oh, I've heard of that place. I've never been there, though. Me neither. It's not somewhere normally you people would usually go. Whoa, just looking at the map is impressive. The public, the police department, Ministry of Justice, Public Prosecutor's Office, and Public Security. The Diet Building is right near there, too. For real? What kind of scary place are we going into? We won't get caught, right? According to Akechi Kun, our identities haven't been discovered yet. So, we are going to plunge headfirst into the enemy territory. Has anyone contacted Akechi? We're going to meet him there. Be on guard, everyone. We'll be heading into a lion's den. Shit. So this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. Let's hurry up and get started. Akechi, what did you find out? I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. November 20th? For real? Then that means our time limit is November 20th. Still, there will be quite a bit of red tape involved. 
I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then? <gasps> That's... Uh huh? What about my smartphone? <laughs> Her face! This is the model I wanted! You're so lucky! I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... well... No, she's doing something. It's okay. Sai-san told me the gist. She's doing something, y'all. Oh, right. Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. That's true. Ooh. I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. I would love to see the receipts between Yusuke and Akechi. <laughs> Thanks. Well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. You've got a good personality and good looks? Talk about cheating. I mean, he's got an okay personality. Kind of She's a nugs. praising you, I believe. <laughs> Then shall we get started? Oh my god, are we gonna see his- We need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is, His whole right? bit? I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like sai -san. It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Weird. Have not been met. Then perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? Have not been there are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Didn't we get caught at a... Gambling then! Yeah. How about a racetrack oh. for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? We played cards during the school trip. Have not been met. What else is there? It must be a casino. Candidate found. I definitely see Sai San in you. <sighs> well, it's time we head in then. Beginning navigation. Makoto's being weird. <laughs> I'm scared. Right past there, and keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. <laughs> Is this a good time to say that anime Akechi looks good? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be an interesting one. The courthouse is a casino. Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Isn't that the police station, yes. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Our attire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered threats or hostiles yet. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. The police station's also part of her work area, though whenever arrests are made for her cases. I've brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police. We got no business with the cops, right? This might be the metaverse, but I don't want to go in a station. That reminds me. He'll need a code name too. Code name? Phantom thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. Just for reference, what is everyone else's? 
Scar. Why do I feel like this is a trap? Mine's Fox. <laughs> we pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Then, perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. Are your clothes all black or something? The reverse, actually. If our code names are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Karasu. He'd be the only Japanese sounding one. Why not go with Crow instead? Crow? All right. From here on out, you're Crow. Got it. You know, a little screechy. I can only imagine them pecking people's eyes out. It makes sense. It makes sense. Now then, let's head into the courthouse. Why was Haru wigging out? Now then. This is business as usual. First off, we'll need to find an infiltration route. Um, I don't think it has to matter who's coming with us, right? But hey, look at you. Do you have a moment? It would be a mistake not selecting me for this. You understand, do you not? Oh, I'll be counting on you. Ah, uh, there seem to be quite a few people already on the team. Would you tell me who to switch with? I guess. That settles it. Superb judgment. A. A new track. Also, the way that M uh, <laughs> Morgana is looking at Akechi right now, he's unenthused. Oh, who are these people? They just look like normal people. Wait! Hey, we can't go that way! We'll garner far too much attention. Let's find another route. Psh, the way I forgot where we're, what we were doing. We're trying to sneak in. Looks like we'll be able to sneak in from here. Oh. <gasps> this means we're acknowledged as a threat, correct? Oh, he looks like a bird. He looks like those birds that when you put them on a desk and they just keep dipping their head into the water. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, you planning on stealing stuff in that getup? <laughs> it just means that's what he thinks a rebel looks like. Yeah? Yeah? No. This is my mental image of a person who sticks to their justice. Well, I think your mask is more apt for piercing rather than sticking. Oh my god, flame him. Flame him, Haru. <laughs> that aside, the people in here look completely normal. But we're in a flashy casino. There's no doubt this is a palace. Oh, right. Crow doesn't know too much about cognitive beings, does he? So he says. Ah, yes. In addition to similar topography, cognitive people exist based on the ruler's perceptions. That probably didn't make much sense because all the fancy terms he was using, huh? In essence, since these look like real people, Saison's view of others is surprisingly undistorted. Hmm. But considering what I see before me, it's difficult to believe it is not actually a real casino. Not all cognitions are normal, though. In Futaba and Okumura's palaces, we had to battle them. People may look normal, but we should be careful. Particularly of those in positions of power. Is this what you have to go through every time? That's right. Hmm. This is a first for me. I'm somewhat nervous. Just don't slow us down, Crow. I will not allow that to happen. Okay, it's time we head inside. <laughs> they seem so uncomfortable. Our deadline for this infiltration is November 20th. Any later and we'll get caught in reality. Of course, we'll need to secure an infiltration route before we send out the calling card. As always. So the calling card wasn't merely for show? It's a necessary step? Will you please stop interrupting? My apologies. Oh my god, they hate him. Well then, <laughs> let's go. They hate him and it's so funny. I feel somewhat nervous. Well then, let's begin by securing our route. I have something. 
Oh, look how those cards fall! Yo, that was cool. You can tell there's a lot of thought in this one. I love it. I'm so excited. Also horrified. Incomplete deck. I'm gonna break all these things. You kidding? It's like a little confetti moment for me. Oh, we're gonna be jamming to this the whole time too. Okay, so November 20th. I'm still very nervous. What does this say? Success? Everyone's enemy? Winner take all? Alright, and let's get in here. Welcome. Come on out, you petty thieves. She can see us? Ooh. You're after the treasure, are you not? I'm sweating. I'm already sweating. I haven't even Come seen her from the front. And I will tell you where it is. What? We're not going to fall for a trick like that. <laughs> it's not a lie. I only wish to do this fair and square. You aren't going to run, are you? We should do as she says. There is no point in hiding any longer. Um, there's a couple points. Mostly not dying. Mostly I'm afraid. Ho ho ho! So you've come. She is like Wednesday Adams, <laughs> but aged like fine wine the treasure is located on the manager's floor at the highest point of this building why are you telling us this it's as i said before i wish to go about this in the fairest manner possible first i ask that you come up to my location we will continue this there Damn it! Over there! It seems we'll be able to use that elevator to reach higher floors. Come, Joker. Let us pursue her. Just us two? <laughs> Let us get after her, Joker. Oh my god, are we actually gonna- we're not gonna be fighting people in here, right? I think they said not the elevator. Authentication required. Please insert your member's card. Member's card? Perhaps it bears relation to a player's club of sorts. I can't handle your technical speak. Just give me it straight. Casinos typically have a membership system called a player's club. Some locations even have areas cordoned off for particular ranks of player. Considering the setup of this place, I thought things may be similar here. That'll make this shit simple. Come on, let's join this player thingy. I would agree with you, but... A shadow! <gasps> oh no. As I expected, registration will not be such a simple matter. She must be daring us to challenge the security of this place to make it to her. Here it comes! Him! No need to worry. I'll handle this. I need to prove my worth to you after all. The man in the loincloth, y'all. Full circle. I have high expectations. I promise to surpass even such lofty hopes as those. Is this an awakening moment that we still get to see? Oh. Well then. Let us begin. Don't worry. You can leave this one to me. Take them down, Robin Hood! A Robin Hood? Persona! With bless and curse damage? I mean, let's use the Almighty. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way this man is staying on this team. <laughs> You're not so bad. And I am capable of much more. 
Now then, let us deal with the shadows quickly. Wait, doesn't it sound like we're gonna get ambushed based on what we heard earlier? You're right. I agree. I'd like to deal with them as quick as we can, but now that we have an infiltration route, I suggest we return for now and prepare. Very well. I trust your experience and judgment. Let us do that. This is unreasonable. I cannot believe what is happening. <laughs> Today was truly one surprise after another. I hope we continue to thrive in our work together. Agreed. We will need to explain the steps we take, though. That is unnecessary. First, we can secure an infiltration route, then send the calling card, correct? In doing so, the core of the ruler's distorted desires will manifest into a physical form. By taking that core, the change of heart will be triggered. I deduce the steps would be something along those lines? A+. plus. It ain't as easy as it sounds. Don't underestimate this shit. I am not underestimating anything, I assure you. By the way, Nijima-san's shadow seemed really confident. Yes, there's no knowing what may await. Let's continue cautiously. Very well. You will let me know when you enter the palace, yes? Nah. Come now. There's no need for hostility. I will simply have to come to LeBlanc every day in that case. That's enough for now. Let's prepare well for that coming task. Ah <laughs> yes. My apologies, my apologies for somewhat derailing this conversation. We will be counting on you, Okechi. Failure is not an option here. Yes, I will do my best to live up to all your expectations. The crucial moment's finally here. Give it all you've got. Okay. This is a rare opportunity. Let's steal Nijima's heart. Mishima? You little NPC, get out of here. Things have really soured. There's even a bounty on you guys. But I seriously believe the Phantom Thieves are innocent. By the way, I changed up the survey question. It's already up in flames, though. It's a problem for me, too, if, I, if people don't think the Phantom Thieves are heroes. Just try to clear the stigma on your name as soon as you can, okay? I'm counting on you. So people are turning on us even in his survey? Our popularity is really at an all-time low. Hey. Oh my god, okay, so even more. We've already been into the casino. We're already like this is almost to that converging point of when we get captured. Someone's gonna sell us out within the next 30 days? Within the next month is what you're telling me? And so now I'm like really nervous of everyone. Still don't really trust Akechi's bitch ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, unnecessary. Um, but everyone else has been like doing some shady stuff within the past I don't know, a couple of weeks or something. So, I mean, we got to prepare for the this pa this palace. I feel like, and then after that, we'll see what happens here. 